Over the last 50 to 100 years, we've been through some of the most significant events in human history. Everything from COVID and the Great Depression to the GFC, as well as a whole bunch of wars. Now, when we look back at high quality property in the right locations, it is still done extremely well despite all of those bumps and bruises and ups and down in the market over that time. In fact, when I was recently looking at some data from Simon Priestley, apparently in Australia in the last 50 years, house prices in the capital cities have averaged over 8.2% per annum. Now, as an investor who's been in the market for the last 13 years and gone through heaps of ups and downs, it's completely natural to feel scared when the media freaks us all out. But what I've learned is that fear can actually be an incredible driver to make better decisions and get better, more stable and conservative results in the future. What I've also learned as an investor is it can be completely natural for the people you care about most and the people in society that don't understand investing to be not just scared for themselves, but to transfer that fear onto you because the survival part of our brains can't differentiate the fear between a bear that's in the room with us trying to get us and the property market that is scary with debt and risk and all of the ups and downs that they don't understand. Now, I've talked to a heap of investors in the last eight years and I've actually sort of put down some of the major challenges or fears we have to overcome and confront as investors. Now, some of the most common ones this year is, I'm not sure if it's the right time to buy. I'm not sure where to buy or what to buy. I'm worried about making a mistake, which I always feel personally. I don't have a clear plan to achieve financial freedom. I don't have a mentor or a coach to walk with me on this journey. I don't have a community of like-minded people around me and I actually feel quite alone. I don't have a world-class team of advisors in my life and I'm time poor. I feel like I missed the boat. I'm completely struggling with information overload and analysis paralysis. I've had bad experiences in the past which are stopping me moving forward today. And the big one, which is my partner isn't interested in property. Now, regardless of which of those challenges that I felt or you're feeling at the moment, it's important that with three simple ideas, you can begin to overcome these things and ultimately set yourself and your family up for long-term choices and financial freedom. Now, the first and most important way to overcome the fears or the challenges that you're facing right now is an understanding of history and data. Now, if we look at John Lindemann's book where he looked at 100 years of Australian property history, he found that over that period of time, the average property in Australia had gone up by over 11% per annum, which is incredible. Now, if we come back to the 50-year data and look at Simon Priestley's analysis, apparently Australia's capital cities averaged an 8.2% increase per annum. In one of his recent articles, he went on to say that Australian property has been one of the top performing assets in the entire world over the last 50 years. Now, why this data is so important to us as investors is there's always gonna be ups and there's gonna be downs. We've seen property decline by as much as 15% and we've seen certain markets in Australia go up as much as 30 or 40% in a single year. You know, I think one of the major problems with property is when you buy here for 400K and in 15 years it's worth 800K, to outsiders it looks like this perfect journey, but when you're in the market, it really is bumpy and it goes like that. I think coming back to and looking at this longer term history often though, should give you a good understanding of what could possibly occur longer term in the future. Now, the second way to overcome your fears or your challenges is through experience. Now, there's absolutely nothing like time in the market and experience to give you results and confidence on your journey towards financial freedom. Now, experience can come in the form of actually buying properties, but it can also come in the form of talking to investors learning off videos like this one or off the incredible blogs online and getting yourself set up with an incredible team of advisors that have already been where you wanna be and that can help pull you through your journey on the way to where you wanna be longer term. The other beautiful thing about property and experience in the property market is that even decisions that look pretty average at the time over a 10 to 15 year period of time look incredibly positive. Property is extremely forgiving for those of you looking for a longer term outcome. The last and final way that I've personally overcome some of the challenges that I was facing and the fears that were holding me back was actually results. Property is exactly like training where you start from this point and over time with consistent effort, discipline and a plan, you get to where you wanna be. And I've loved personally seeing properties that I bought at this point, not just increase rent wise, but increase in capital value over time. You know, despite all of the fear and all of the challenges that I've personally gone through and all of the good markets and bad markets as an investor, I'm still super, super grateful that 
I confronted my fear. I stood in that uncomfortable space consistently and continued to move towards my goal and my plan for the future. Now, for those of you in a similar position who are seriously thinking about buying a property in the next three to 12 months, I'd love to offer you a one-on-one -on -one strategy session. All you have to do is jump over to www.pumpedonproperty.com, click that free strategy session button, and we can talk about where you are right now, where you'd like to be longer term, what's honestly holding you back and how to overcome those challenges. And then from there, I can point you in the right direction and educate you on the best markets and the best suburbs in Australia to invest in now, or you can potentially become one of the extremely small number of clients that we work with each month as your buyer's agent. But either way, we wish you all the best. I think it's an exciting time. I think the next two to three years are gonna be incredible when we look back at them, and I hope you don't miss out on the opportunity. Woo, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's cool, it. Yeah. Oh, sweaty, so sweaty. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so nice, eh? Oh.